Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support video. This is Shruti from Informatica GCS. In this video, we will discuss regarding how to retrieve primary objects from Exxon and the objects that are linked with that primary object using the REST API calls. So, before proceeding further, let's see the agenda for today's video. So, in this video, we will first have a quick overview or a quick recap of the part 1 of this Exxon REST API video because we have discussed there how to retrieve JWT token and that is required for this video as well and thereafter we will see how to retrieve primary objects and its links object from Exxon. So let's start. In the part 1 we have discussed that in order to make any REST API calls in Exxon we first need to have the JWT token. So first call that we make is to get the JWT token from Exxon and once we get the JWT token then we can proceed further. So please refer to the video one where I have explained how to retrieve the token JWT token from Exxon and once you get the Exxon we can proceed further how to retrieve primary objects and its linked objects. So now uh, I have assumed that we all have the JWT token. So let's proceed towards the second point that is to retrieve the primary object and its linked object. And also there are several variations of uh, this particular API call. Suppose uh, the one variation is I know the pro I know one of my process name and I just want to see the linked system and glossary with that process. Another example would be I will I try to provide the ID for few of the processes and suppose 1, 3 and 5 and for the processes having ID 1, 3 and 5 I want to see all the linked objects or the third instance maybe I just want to see all the glossaries that are present in my instance or all the processes that are present in my instance. So there are several examples for that. So in this video, we will just take an example of how uh, I know one of my process name and I just wanted to see what all systems as well as glossaries are linked with that particular process. And if you want to further uh, explore the other variations of this REST API call, please refer to the Exxon REST API guide version 5.4. Found it. You can find this uh, document on the uh, KB portal and you can just download it and refer it for your further variation. So now let's proceed to our Postman REST API client. So this is our Postman REST API client. So in order to retrieve the primary objects or the linked objects, we have to make a call of post type. Then under the URL, we just have to provide the Exxon host name. and followed by the port number, then API, V1, query report, and then this. Then under authorization, we just have to select no auth. Then in headers, we have to provide content type as application then the authorization and for this we first have to type bearer space and then we have to copy the JWT token what we have received from the first step. I have copied the JWT token here and thereafter under body we just have to switch to raw and there we have to provide the JSON query for fetching a particular process by its name and the linked system as well as glossary with that particular process. So suppose I in my Exxon instance, let's go to first my Exxon instance. So here I have just searched for a particular process, know your client KYC process. And as you can see, 
with this particular process there are 11 glossaries linked as well as 5 systems linked now i just want to retrieve this information into our rest api client so it should show me what all 11 glossaries are linked with this process and what all five systems are linked with this particular process so for this i have to provide the json code in their rest api client so this is the json code that we have to provide here so let's try to understand this code first so here under the search group, I have provided to first start the search process from the face it process and thereafter I have provided the field name and the value for this field is know your client KYC process. So it will just contact the Exxon instance and then it will start the searching process from the face it process and then it will look for a process whose name is know your client KYC process. Thereafter, under the filter groups, uh, I haven't provided anything so that it can retrieve all the information particular to the process. And then under the search scopes, I have provided system. And for system, I want to retrieve all these fields. And for glossary, I want to retrieve all these fields. If you want to get this code, please refer to the Exxon 5.4 REST API guide. There you can find all these uh, sample codes that you can use further according to your requirement. So now I have provided the required JSON code in the body. I have set the authorizations and I have provided the value in headers. So now we can just click on send and can retrieve the required information. So here I have just clicked on send. And this is our reports. So let's try to understand it. So first thing it has shown me the name for which it has fetched the linked glossary as well as system. So our process was know your client KYC process. And thereafter it has shown me the, uh, it has taken us to the glossary facet. And there are total 589 glossaries are present out of which 11 are linked with this process. So now let's verify it once with our Exxon instance. So as you can see here, there are total 587 glossaries and out of which 11 are linked with our uh, particular process. So now, thereafter one by one, it has uh, given us the information regarding all those 11 glossaries like first it, it will show you what all fields value it will fetch for the glossary and then these are the items so these are corresponding value so say the first field will be id so that is 18 then the name is name of the glossary cmd id type is term and accordingly we can just see whatever field name in which sequence it is mentioned here values will also be mentioned in the same sequence so this is for the one glossary, this is for second glossary and similarly we will have for information for all the 11 glossaries. Thereafter, it will show us information regarding system. So there, uh, total 119 systems are present out of which 5 are linked with our particular process. And similarly, whatever fields are provided here, for which, uh, for this only, we will get the values. So total, we will have the information regarding five systems. So this is how we have fetched a particular process by name, and then the linked glossary as well as system to with that particular process. In case if you have any queries regarding this video, or if you have any suggestions or feedback regarding this video, please contact us using the below links. Thank you for watching the video.